Hello everyone, welcome back to the Lord of the Rings Online. This is Narlo here. Say hello to everyone, Narlo. Good boy. When we left off, we were down here in the basement of the hideout talking to Herobrine. And he had given us a quest. We were going to head on over to see a soothsayer. But before we were on Book 12, Chapter 9, the soothsayer, before that... He wants us to go and talk to Horn. He's offered to bring you before the soothsayer, but first you to see what Horn and Nona think of the prospect. So let's take a look at the history. So he says, It is true, an old soothsayer lives in a remote cave among the mounds, and she speaks words of prophecy. She has foretold that I will die in an orcish hand, as will my firstborn son. Ha 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 ha! Never before has knowledge of coming death been so welcome, Narlo. For if it be my fate to die in an orcish hand, well, no Dunlending will be able to lay a hand upon me. Thus far it has proven so. Speak to your companions, and if they agree to the journey, I will bring you before the soothsayer Hildegard. Perhaps she will read your fate as well. All right. Herobrine believes he is invincible and cannot be slain by the Dunlendings that have invaded the Stone Deans. And Horn and Nona, I would imagine, are at the entrance to Woodhurst. So we need to go and see them first. And first get a cup of coffee here. Hmm. Very good. So let's go see them first at the entrance to Woodhurst here. It's the grieving widow of the Exreeve. Notice it just says, that's the thing about this prophecy. People take it so literally. It's like, okay, yes. But nothing says that you can't be captured, imprisoned, and tortured. Just that you can't be killed by a, anything other that you will be killed by an orcish hand. Doesn't say you can't be captured, imprisoned, tortured, maimed, crippled by anything else, you know. Let's see what Nona has to say over here. Oh, isn't that a beautiful vista out across you there. And the landscape looks nice too. <laughs> All right, come a on, Nona. A who lives in this land. What is this? A soothsayer lives in this land. Apparently so. Yes. Hello, Horn. <sighs> Herobrand is a fool to believe the words of this soothsayer. A soothsayer. Such mystics never speak plain, but deal in riddles to confuse the weak-minded. Herobrand is a fool to believe the words of this Hildegard. I will go with you to this cave if Nona desires it. But I beg of you, do not put too much stock in the words of this soothsayer. There are many mysteries in this world, but I think it likely this Hildegard is merely a woman with an addled mind. This soothsayer will speak in riddles and lies. Mark my words well, for they tell the future. Pah! All right, we hear what his opinion is. Mark my words well, for they foretell the future. Pah. <laughs> hey, Nona, what do you think A about soothsayers? soothsayer lives in this land? I am filled with delight. Such folk truly possess the power of foretelling the fates. Do you remember the dream that drew us across the mountains? We cannot fathom its meaning, but a soothsayer such as the one of the Herobrine speaks is more skilled at reading such visions than the likes of us. Return to Herobrine and humbly beg him to bring us before the soothsayer. She could tell us much. Okay. Y'all are going to have some problems with, like, naming your children. I can see that coming up now. Y'all might want to discuss this uh, religion business. That, that might be a good idea. I mean, you know, I, I'm a Baptist... Technically, I was raised, okay, let's say I was raised a Baptist, and my wife was raised a Muslim, and we get along fine, but we also have separate houses. Of course, y'all look like y'all may have separate kingdoms before it's over with, so uh, maybe that works out fine for y'all too. All right, let's get back down in the basement. And let's see what's going on over here with Hildebrand. And get ready to, I would ready imagine, to travel down. Let's see what yes. has to say of your own future. Are you prepared to depart? Very good. Let us see what Hildegard has to say of your own future. 
May it be so rosy as my own, which frees my hand in battle against the Dunlending invaders. Solo quest cannot be completed with a fellowship. All right, let's travel now. The last soothsaying wise woman Rubbish we came across. Herobrand may believe the words of this soothsayer, but I will not fall for her trickery. New instance, the soothsayer, and you have discovered the Orlag Den. Hmm. Wonder if this is some place we can. Yeah, it looks like we can actually exit it eventually, so hey, cool. We'll have to see. Let's look around right quick. Nice, nice work. I like the stalagmites, or stalactites, I'm sorry. Some stalagmites on the floor, but they don't really make sense because they're not associated with anything above them. <sighs> Alright, there's Hildegard. We would take a look, but I'm sure you have discovered the Orlag Den means just that. We have discovered the Orlag Den. Um, so we will look at it afterwards to make sure. Let's give it a good peek over. We've taken a look. Very good. Let's look at Herobrand. We have arrived, Narlo. Hildegard has sight of many things still to come, and the source of her power is unknown to me. Many of my kinsmen call it witchcraft, sorcery such as that practiced by the elves. But I say Hildegard was a woman of Rohan, and remains so. Speak to her with courtesy. Follow him to meet the soothsayer Hildegard, I will. Last time we were at a soothsaying wise woman type thing was way up there, I think, in Forichel. Remember, we were all in the far northwest corner of Forichel, and we had the... the, uh little cave that the like soothsayer woman was in and who was sending us down to see the the ghost of the dead king and she turned out to be um oh uh Armoroth? what was the name the name armadale who was what was the name of the the uh leader of angmar at that time the the sorceress leader of angmar at that point in time can't remember her name, but it like it early ended up being her in disguise, if I'm remembering correctly. Mind your feet. She is accustomed to the dark, as we are not. Well, it's pretty damn bright in here. Remember, friends, be courteous. Right, what the hell just happened? Hildegard, I have returned. Am I welcome? Ah, young Herobrand, you are welcome any time. Your visit brightens these dark days. I am not alone, Hildegard. You bring your son, Herafara? He speaks sparingly, but he too is welcome. No, I bring friends from afar. Ah, let them approach and introduce themselves. Yeah, this is bad, especially when she looks like a pal. Looks like we're coming before Palpatine here. And she's about short enough to be Sarah, uh, what was her name? Sarah Oakleaf? Sarah Oakstaff? What was, what was the other horrible, uh, horrible villain in disguise that we came across? You give Hildegard your name and she nods. It is a pleasure to meet you, friend of Herobrine. Many are the roads you have walked to get here, and many more will you walk before you are at last given rest. Ooh, she does speak the truth. <laughs> Sounds like she can do cold readings with the best of them. Listen to her. Much that you have done is already known to me. But there is much ahead of you I cannot see. May I ask what adventuring discipline you call your own? Answer Hildegard's questions and hear what she has to say. I am the stealthiest of burglars. I am a humble burglar, that is all. I have nothing to say. Hmm. Aha. Uh -huh. Hildegard looks at you silently. The corner of her mouth turned upwards with amusement. 
You speak of your skills the same way you exercise them, with quiet confidence. But I know the extent of your prowess in burglary, and it is wide indeed. You pass locked doors as if they were missed, removing both treasure and secrets. Any could look at Narlo and tell he was a skilled burglar. This is no difficult thing. What is your name, Doubting One? Yes, anyone can look at me and tell that I am a successful burglar. <laughs> uh, should you not already know my name? Your discourtesy shames you, Horn. I did not bring you before Hildegard so you might insult the woman. Worry not, Herobrand. I am not offended by disbelief. Narlo, do you believe in my gift? Uh, I do not know if it is a gift. She remains silent, her expression a mystery. You see much, Narlo. Few folk understand the truth of it. Is it a gift to know what comes, or is it a burden? I cannot choose what I see, and often it fills me with fear and sorrow. But it is a gift, of the God. What with this sight, I can set many things aright. Come here, girl. What is it, the God? Kind of lost the accent there. You kindle child. She burns with the heat of the battle. Be silent, foolish man. I have battles to fight. They will not wait. It will be some time yet. That is the way of it. Hmm. Kindle child is, is known of pregnant. And also, if any of y'all have ever read Dune before, you'll know from reading Dune Messiah and reading uh, God Emperor Dune that, uh, or Dune Messiah and Children of Dune, and I think God Emperor of Dune, they bring it as well about the fact that those people that believe in total prophecy end up being in a situation where they, you know, the people with presence or perfect presence and know all the future, eventually end up with a life where they just long for anything to happen that they don't already know of. They long for a life where they're totally bored, as she says, you know, it, it's not a gift. This woman speaks in riddles and rubbish, Narlo. If she has knowledge of days to come, why does she not spell it for us plain? Were she to do that, then perhaps I would give her my belief. But until then, I remain unconvinced. Okay. You can say you see the events of days to come. Tell me what awaits me and prove your claim is true. I cannot say. I thought as much. There is no straight path to this life. Have you heard the tale of Wirgendi, Doubting One? Of course, all children of Rohan have heard it. I have sung the tale myself a dozen times at the least. Do you believe it? Boy, that's a long pause. I will not be tricked by this woman. I will wait for you outside. Horn! Horn, wait! I cannot believe Horn would act this way, Gardo. Has he closed his eyes to everything we have experienced on this journey? Or as we call it, Scully Syndrome. He shares the maddening outlook of his people. Sulvuch would not understand him. Nona clenches her fist and tosses her hair in frustration. We cannot choose to whom we give our hearts, Nala. That is our lot. But I might have chosen one less stubborn from out of all the kingdoms of men. Hildegard stands unblinking, but does not appear to see you any longer. I see a great battle. Hildegard! 
What is it? A vast army marches outside the walls. I see a white horse pinned by shadows. Your love lies upon the broken ground, his shield shattered. Horn! What else do you see? I see death. No! The list of the dead is long, the minstrels mourn. Hildegard, what can we do? Hildegard! The soothsayer Hildegard stands upright, staring forward slightlessly. She still breathes, but she no longer appears to see either you or Nona. Nala, what can we do? If Hildegard speaks the truth, it means Horn will fall in battle. A good death for any warrior. But he is not just any warrior, Nala. He is mine, and it is not glory he seeks. I know this to be true. I will keep Horn from meeting this end. Others have fought their fates. Why not Nona, daughter of Sulvich, sister of Wadu? You will help me in this, Nalo. You will say none of this to Horn. Do you understand? Right. We will say none of this to Horn. So let's speak to Nona by the entrance. We must do something. I need time to think. We have to do something. I need time to think, Nolo. Hildegard is as powerful as I had hoped, and now I wish that she was not. Her words give shape to a grim tomorrow, and I do not want to believe it will come to pass. Am I to lose Horn as I lost my brother? Rubbish and lies. Rubbish and lies. The words of that woman prey on the fears and hopes of all who listen to her. Herobrand is a fool if he believes himself to be invincible on account of Hildegard's witless ramblings. I cannot believe Nona sets any stock upon the words of this woman. She has my heart, always, but I am saddened by her belief in this nonsense. Herobrand is a fool. His belief in Hildegard will get him killed. And perhaps not at the hands of an orc. It will be little consolation to me or to him. But there it is. What are we to do? Herobrand is a wise woman to listen to words of Hildegard. She has unusual powers and can see much that is hidden to the rest of us. Horn denies her power at his peril. Yeah, you two need to have a long talk with a pre-marriage counselor there. Get some things straightened out. Let's go back over here. Let us talk to Herobrand in his hideout. And I think that may be ending up our journey for today. I've got a lot of stuff I've got to get done this morning. Not only in, in work and stuff like that, but also in putting out yard work. doing Moving dirt. Moving tons and tons of dirt. And then go play with the dog. And then I'm thinking I might get up a video showing out what I've been up to with the, all the 3D printing. I haven't done the adventures of 3D printing in a while. And I'll show you just what I have gotten up to with the Znutar. Now do you understand? Now do you understand, my friend? Hildegard has unusual powers and she speaks of the future with a convincing tongue. I have no doubt that I will cast the Dunlending invaders from Woodhurst, for none of them can hope to slay me or my son. If my death be at an orcish hand, then no man can hope to harm me. Travel south to Brookbridge and meet with my son, Herafara. I sent my son, Herafara, south to the town of Brockbridge, for the bridge over that span is of great strategic importance. He was to help Thane Leofurth keep that point secure, for the Thane... Well, some say his last days are nearly here. My son is strong and will help Leofurth defend the span. Travel south to Brockbridge and meet with my son. He will know how best you and your companions to help. Alright, Chapter 10, Rumors of Battle. You will find my son Herefara at Brockbridge. 
the effort is in poor health. The bridge is of vital importance. I will leave you to your grief. Looks like it may go for a while. All right. As the commercial says, back at the Herobrand hideout. Something like that, isn't it? All righty, there we go. We will um, see y'all next time. From there, we are going to be heading south to Brockbridge. Where is it? It is down here. So we have got to travel south. Go down here to Brockbridge. Pick up the stable master there. So I don't think... Yeah, it was over Broad Acres where we were fighting, wasn't it? Was it there? We were outside Stoke and we came over here. Is that how things work? I'm thinking that's how things work. Anywho... We will go there. No, no, we have crossed Brock Bridge because we were, this is, yeah, there's all those barricades. So we came down to Brock Bridge and then this is where we were fighting and had the death with the captain's hands and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, there we go. Because I remember this encampment down here and, and was it Trotter? Trotter, were you the one that told me that, yeah, there are, there are Dunlindings inside of uh, Woodhurst there, which apparent from, from his speech becomes clear where he says I'll kick him out of Woodhurst so there were there were Dunlendings inside the town here that we could have built and then our journey down here to Brockbridge would have been a fresh journey but we made it down here anyway didn't we so that's where we're gonna go next time we will also have to see if next time we can find where this we're in I think it's Western Rohan is that where we are Broad Acres, I'm sure it's Stone Deans. Is that the one where we have discovered? There it is. Discovered the Orlag Den, you see? I'm becoming so I can kind of sort of know where we are and what exploration thing we're looking for. So we're almost gotten through the Stone Deans there. All right, folks. Let us have a smoke. I am going to... Whoops. I, don't, I type smile, didn't I? Oh, Lord. I am more awake than I was last time. That's good. But we will see y'all next time here. I think the next one we have coming up is a Narone. We'll see if we can't get that done later today and get it up, up, up late this evening or early tomorrow morning. And as I said, I'm going to try and get that kind of side thing done. Oh, I've got so many Brocraft videos to get up. And I've got all those trucking videos. At Colorado, I think. Colorado comes out in a week. Maybe two weeks? I'd like to get the bridge, the finishing the Genoa Bridge videos uh, done. And I'd like to get the finishing the Cruising Idaho videos up and done by then. So we've got a lot of videos, to, a lot of, of footage to watch and, and get up, don't we? We'll see y'all next time. Thank y'all for coming along. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye-bye.